flourless dark chocolate ricotta cake. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo bags 12. Hello everyone. Starting off with some nice dark chocolate. Has to be at least 50% cocoa. I'm using the 70% cocoa dark chocolate. You'll need three ounces or about 90 grams, which is almost all of that chocolate bar. I broke it up into a small saucepan and then added one quarter cup of butter. Now you're gonna melt this on very low heat, melt the butter and chocolate together until it's nice and smooth, and then set it aside to cool. While that's cooling, mix in one package or 300 grams, about 10 ounces of ricotta cheese, and blend that with two large eggs. Stir it around until combined, then add in one half cup of white granulated sugar, blending that in, and then add in your slightly cooled chocolate and butter mixture. Give that a good stir and then add in three quarters of a cup of milk. I just used 2% milk. You could use whole milk if you'd like. Stir it in, you'll notice it's quite liquid. So to thicken this up, instead of flour, using two cups of ground almonds plus a tablespoon of baking powder. Stir that together well and then pour it into your liquid ingredients and give it a stir and you'll see it'll thicken up quite a bit. Then take a springform pan. I sprayed mine with some cooking spray and then you just want to take a little bit of cocoa powder and sprinkle it on the bottom and the sides of your baking dish. This will add some cocoa flavor and it'll also keep it from sticking to the pan. So once the pan is coated, pour in the batter for the cake, spread it out evenly with a spatula. And then for decoration as well as flavor, we're gonna add a quarter cup of sliced almonds and I added a quarter cup of chocolate chips to the top. I use a semi-sweet. Then you bake this at 375 degrees, 50 to 60 minutes or until the cake springs back lightly when you press it with your finger. Okay, here's a piece that uh, I removed after it was cooled and taken out of the pan. And I just wanted to show you the texture of it. As you can see, it's quite crumbly. It's nothing like cheesecake at all. And it's really nothing like chocolate cake, regular chocolate cake. It's something in between. A bit too crumbly for my tastes. Um, the texture is a little strange because the almonds in there, I guess maybe the almonds I used weren't ground finely enough. So there were kind of bits of almond in there. And I found that it wasn't quite sweet enough for my taste. So I added some salted caramel sauce that I happen to have in the cupboard from one of those gourmet food boxes that I reviewed. And, um, but if you don't have a super duper sweet tooth like I have, you probably find this sweet enough just on its own. Now, would I make this again? Probably not. I mean, it's, it's okay and it looks great and it has a really nice chocolate flavor, but it really isn't something that I would go out of my way to make again. Now, if you have, if you have an allergy to wheat flour or if you know somebody who does and you want to make them a cake for their birthday or something and they love chocolate, they're probably going to enjoy this. So it's up to you if you want to give this a try or not. Thank you to all my fantastic subscribers out there and thank you so much for watching. If you're not subbed to my channel, go ahead and do that now by clicking on the hamster on your screen and that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And when I made this video, I was posting videos every Monday and Friday. So see you next time. Bye-bye.